After you harvest timber on your land, you will want to reforest the site as soon as possible. Not only is reforestation after timber harvest the right thing to do, it's also required by Oregon state law. Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Swanson, the Starker Professor of Private and Family Forestry in the College of Forestry at Oregon State University. I'm here today on the McDonald Dunn Forest used for teaching, research, and demonstration. Successful reforestation begins long before the timber harvest. If you anticipate or plan timber harvest on your land, then you'll want to go ahead and talk to a forester, extension professional, or a nursery manager to understand what seedlings are right for your property in terms of species and size. Native trees from your area are often the best choice. In Western Oregon, the most common trees planted include Douglas fir, Western hemlock, Western red cedar, and grand fir. Planting multiple species is frequently a very good idea. Among other things, it helps confer resistance against any pests and pathogens that may affect one species or another. You may ask yourself, how many trees do I need to plant? A 10-foot spacing between seedlings is often used in forestry in the Pacific Northwest. This translates to 436 trees per acre. It's often a good idea to plant up to 10% extra to account for any potential mortality. Successful reforestation often begins before the seedlings are planted. For example, competing vegetation must be controlled. Plants like shrubs, forbs, ferns, and grasses can provide severe competition to seedlings for water, nutrients, and light. Approaches like mulch mats, cutting or mowing, and chemical control like herbicides can be used to reduce this competition, increasing the survival and growth of your seedlings. If you choose to use herbicide to control competing vegetation, make sure that you have and wear appropriate personal protective equipment. In addition, make sure that you follow all labeled instructions on the herbicide and follow all applicable state law. Now you're ready to get planting. How do we go about doing that? You should plant your seedlings generally during cool and moist weather, such as during the winter. In Western Oregon, seedlings are often planted in the December through early March period when soils are moist and temperatures are cool. This allows seedlings time to adjust to their new environment as they transition into active growth. You'll need something to dig a hole. A shovel, a long spade, or a tool called a hoedad will work. A tree planting bag will make carrying seedlings a lot easier. Dig a hole that is deep enough to hold all of the roots. Place the seedling's roots in the hole with the roots facing downward. Take care to make sure the roots are not damaged or curved upward out of the hole. This is called J-rooting and it may lead to the death of the seedling. Once the seedling's roots are in the hole, tamp the soil around the hole to eliminate any air pockets and ensure that soil is around the root system. However, make sure that you don't overly compact the soil. It may be helpful to use a measuring tape initially to establish the right distance between seedlings. However, with practice, you'll find you can pace off that distance fairly reliably. All right, now you're ready. Dig a hole, plant a tree, move on to the next. Planting trees is a lot of work, but before you know it, you'll have planted all your seedlings and the next generation of trees will be up and thriving. 